One-year-old Rahima has lost her home and she's sick from malaria. Her mother is doing her best to keep her safe in this temporary camp in northeast Kenya. The baby has been really sick. We went to the hospital and they said she had malaria. They asked for money to give her medication, but we didn't have any, so we came back home. She hasn't slept. She's sick and cries a lot. When the seasonal rain swept through her village near Gorisa, rising floodwaters from the Tana River submerged her home. With the floods came many mosquitoes, putting the people there at risk of malaria. It's a life-threatening disease. In hot, humid climates across African countries, mosquitoes spread a parasite that's infected nearly 230 million people in 2018. 400,000 died. In a statement, Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta says they've been able to lower malaria prevalence from a high of 6 million infections to 4.6 million over the last 10 years. This progress is a result of support and cooperation between the government development partners and frontline health providers. Kenya has joined Ghana and Malawi in a pilot vaccine program that's focusing on the worst hit areas. But with countries responding to the coronavirus pandemic, the World Health Organization says this could directly impact the number of malaria cases. It's urging governments to take action. We need to um, uh, um, maintain our uh, current operations. We need to maintain the distribution of our vector control tools. We need to remain uh, open and facilitate access of uh, febrile children or pregnant women to prompt diagnosis and treatment of malaria. And in Garissa, without the means to give Rahima medicine, her mother has no choice but to hope she's strong enough to fight off the disease herself. Laura Burdamanli, Al Jazeera.